The impeachment articles against Secretary Mayorkas accuse him of willfully violating uh, two laws. You have one that requires him to, quote, maintain operational control over the border, and then an article of the Constitution that says the government must protect Americans from invasion. Um, you know, are Republicans basing that off of illegal crossing statistics, or is there more evidence that indicates this was a willful or deliberate decision from Mayorkas to actually not enforce the law? There's absolutely that evidence. And, and, you know, this is a very solemn day for Congress. This is not a position that we want to be in. We take the concept of impeachment very seriously. But what we've seen from Secretary Mayorkas is that he's absolutely defying the laws of our country and the other branches of government. So we've had federal courts that directly told Mayorkas that his policies are unlawful and ordered him to stop. He has defied those court orders. He's come to Congress time and again to testify, but the things that he has said during sworn testimony, he's claimed that our border is secure. He's claimed that Homeland Security has operational control of our border. And these statements are clearly false. So Mayorkas has basically become a rogue agency, uh, defying the basic concepts of separation of powers that are essential to the proper functioning of our government. At this point, his conduct is tantamount to an abuse of power and also a breach of the public trust. We know that while these policies, while his reckless policies are in place, his lawlessness, it's endangering our country, both I, on the community level and in the big and the bigger picture of our national security. And I guess my net, my follow up question to that is, you know, even if if today's impeachment resolution passes the committee, then it goes on to pass the full House. I mean, it's almost certainly dead on arrival in the Democrat controlled Senate. With that in mind, do you feel like this is Republicans' best use of time if he will still be in that seat at the end of the day, Congresswoman? I think this is an incredibly important use of our time. And I'll tell you, you know, we owe this to Americans. All of the work that we've been doing on this subject to ensure that we're bringing transparency, that we're bringing the true facts of the crisis at our border to Americans is part of our job, an essential part, providing that kind of oversight. And you see it in the passion of those folks you were talking about earlier on that convoy. Americans want a focus on this issue. They want the truth about this issue. And most importantly, they want accountability. We cannot have rogue cabinet secretaries who defy the laws of this country and defy their obligation as an executive branch agency, uh, it is an abuse of that public trust. And even the FBI in recent weeks has been talking about the grave danger to our homeland because we don't know who these people are. Millions of people coming across our border, going to communities across America, we don't know who they are, we don't know where they are, we don't know what their plans for our country are. So it is a very serious threat to our domestic security and Americans want it addressed and they want it to stop. So anything we can do as Congress to further that effort, we are going to do. And speaking of Congress furthering the effort, before I let you go, my last question to you, I just wanted to get your response to the border deal that's been debated for months now with the supplemental aid package, including, you know, southern border restrictions in it. Uh, apparently, the Senate is on the verge of striking some sort of deal, uh, but President Trump has lobbied Republicans to reject it if it doesn't include all that they're demanding. Uh, you know, your take on, on what you're about to see with this deal, why not meet somewhere in the middle? I mean, what's your response to that? Well, I'll say two things. First off, we already have laws that require our government to detain and deport those who enter this country illegally. So the first important step would be simply enforce the laws we have on the books. Second, as to any sort of border deal, you know, what I've heard about what they're working on the Senate is that it would allow up to 5,000 people to enter this country illegally every day. That's 5,000 too many. And then the president many. could shut it down. Well, no, it that's allows. just 5,000 too many. Uh -huh. So... But Congress is not, the House of Representatives is not going to approve something that basically gives this tacit consent to something that, that defies the laws of our country. We, we are a sovereign nation. We have laws on the books. We need to enforce those laws. So certainly, you know, we are all about finding solutions and working across the aisle to find those solutions where they're possible. But what I've heard about the deal the Senate is working on is that it is simply not going to be acceptable. Meeting halfway on utter lawlessness is not an option. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.